it kind of gives you this new um, motivation to want to learn about that. So when when I when you know for me all those ideas about spies and the Cold War and sort of like what that was about and um, we're all, it was all a great excuse for me to go and explore any of those things and see where I can find pieces where you could make it relatable and be grounded. And it's, it's, it's pretty scary what's out there in terms of, you know, we've always dealt with this idea of brainwashing. We've always, we've always had these ideas of what a mentoring candidate would be. We've always had these ideas of, you know, creating a super soldier and sort of like healing quickly. And so all, all these things, um, have made the comic books for me far more significant than it than I than at first glance. How I always saw Bucky in the in the first movie was, you know, he he wasn't he was earnest. He was sort of loyal. He was loyal. He was all the he was all those things. But he he was you know he had flaws and he had sort of tendencies that he hadn't worked out and and he was questioning sort of why he was going to war and why he was fighting he was very protective of Steve and and uh, to some extent uh, uh, narrow-minded of, of you know what Steve really wanted because he always had this big brother thing I know better you know and it's it's the so anyone can sort of <laughs> I mean, and it, this is an exaggeration but anyone can sort of end up a darker version of themselves. Even in, in the way that their relationship was depicted in the comic books and how Bucky was younger and so on, I mean, he was always the guy that was sort of doing the dirty work, but, you know, behind, sort of, behind the scenes. Um, and and Cap had an image to protect, and, and so, and Bucky didn't. Bucky could, you know, explore his angry tendencies on the battlefield and was sometimes trigger happy and was very impulsive. And um, and so I felt like that was like gold, a gold mine for me to discover. Chris is just, you know, he's a really, besides just being a great guy to be around and, and bringing awesome energy, um, which you feed off of and then like, you find a uh, you find a groove, which which so often these things become, you know, it's all kind of a choreogra choreography. So it's sort of it's sort of like a dance that you that you share with somebody. And um, there's there's so many little technicalities about spacing and kind of energy and speed and sort of the whole thing like crescends into a whole different piece and then it moves into a slower section. I mean, so it's like if you have someone that you can vibe with to do that then it's great and and uh we had that on the first one and i mean I, you know i've seen him on and off over the years but for us to come back and kind of pick up where we left off was very easy